Okay, thank you so much for taking uh, this inf- interview. Could you mind just telling me uh, your name, a little bit about yourself, your age? Beautiful. Um, so I'm Bailey O'Sullivan. I'm 25 years old. And at the moment I'm living in Dublin. I went to college in WIT and I'm originally from Dunderman. Oh, class. So you know Waterford, Waterford City fairly well then? Yeah, so I did my full undergrad in Waterford. Um, and I lived there for one year um, out of the three years. Oh, class. And so you in how do you... How did you get up and down to college, or how did you go to college most days? So a lot of it was actually, I used my own um, car for oh. quite a bit of it. Um, but there was a while there where I didn't have my own car. I was relying on public transport. And um, I found it a little bit difficult because um, you kind of couldn't really rely on the time, and I think like that you'd end up coming on late lecture, um, which obviously didn't look great. Um, so yeah, it was a lot of, for two of the years, it was my own and then for a year and would you say that you, you use your own car out of necessity because the public transport wasn't as reliable or um... yeah absolutely um, what I found is even like because the public transport was so unreliable um, like you'd be caught in the rain you'd be standing there for ages waiting for books and everything like that it would be annoying um, I would say if I was coming home on a Friday and I was working um in the environment, I wasn't able to like reliably make sure I'd be on time for my shift and stuff if I didn't have a car. And what I found as well is that even other people who are going to WIT um, were like, when, when I was driving myself, were coming to visit me rather than relying on the bus just because they just couldn't, they couldn't make sure they'd get there on time. Or the bus was going incredibly early. Say if you had like an 11 o'clock lecture, the only way you get there for 11 o'clock is if you get the 7 a.m. bus from the garden, which is just a bit bad. Yeah. Um, so you're waiting around college for two hours just because there isn't another service. Yeah, that's, um, that, so yeah. that's definitely, I'd say, would have impacted some uh, quality of life as well, getting up at 7. So that's exactly, uh, that's yeah. why we um, can see these trends of people turning towards their car. And in terms of getting around Waterford City, how would, like, when you were... Would you have gone down to the city centre while you're on lunch breaks? Yeah, like, I, that would be the intention. Like, a lot of the time, you just have to get to the town, you're like, blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. Um, and it wasn't too dry in there. One thing I find is that, um, obviously, on days when it's lash and rain or, like, torrential kind of stormy, the bus is obviously way busier because nobody's walking. However, they should almost kind of have another bus in service if, if, if they know the bus is really busy because you'll be standing there in the rain and they're going by you. Um, and you're like, okay, now I have no time to get into town. Now I can't get my stuff done. Everything's just kind of a knock-on effect where they feel like a bit of free planning or kind yeah. of adjusting to what the environment at the time and kind of be like, okay, we're going to have to get on another service. It would make a lot more sense. Yeah, um, and in terms of, from what you remember going around Waterford City, what do you think about the walkability situation? Do you think there's room for improvement? Do you think? Um, I definitely think so. I feel like, especially if you go into the WIT, it's quite a long walk, and a lot of it is just like on a main road, so quite inhospitable, like walking culture, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. You're, yeah, you're walking along like, a dual carriageway or like it's just very busy with traffic. It doesn't feel like a very nice walk and it feels longer because it is so far out. Yeah. So kind of not very nice to look at, basically. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. Um, and in t- in going on from that, so like cycling, what 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 do you think the cycling culture is in Waterford? I know ever since the Greenway, um, definitely in towns like Dungarvan and stuff, that cycling has become extremely popular. But in terms of Waterford City, I don't I don't know if that cycling culture is there yet. Yeah, I agree. I didn't like there wasn't an awful lot of people cycling when I was there. Like in general, you find that like when you were bike in college, in stuff like the bike rack would be empty. Like a lot of people weren't cycling. I do know that New York is a bit of a strange place because it is such a heavy commuter college. Um, but in general, I don't think anybody in my class cycles, and I, you just don't really see it around. Even though I do know there's quite a few cycling stuff, you just don't really see it. Also, I don't know if there's that rental bike scene in Waterford, but it, I don't think I've seen them. It's the it, one reason to come up with the app. It's funny that you say that. The one one has been implemented since June. But that's the oh, only one. There when I was there, yeah. yeah. So yeah, that yeah. So it is definitely it's get getting there, but I don't think it's there yet. And Bevin, 
if you could do one thing to improve transport in Waterford City in any in any area, what do you think? What kind of example would you give? I think the best thing you can do is just be more reliable on time. So I obviously know that you can't um, you can't predict everything like blah blah the world is the world. But I think if you have a reliable time that you're able to um, know that the bus is going to be there, know you're going to be able to get on the bus, and know you're going to get home for a certain time, it would relieve an awful lot of the stress people have and kind of the hesitancy they have around public transport in general, just in all of Ireland. It's that. Uh, you could be standing there for an hour and you have no idea or you're trying to get to work and you're just going to be late and it seems like a weak excuse when you're staying for the six times in a month and things like that. Um, I know as well with just living in Dublin that there's just an awful lot more buses than like so you miss one bus you know the next one's going to be around in about 10 minutes or so. Yeah. So that kind of massive increase in like making sure that the transportation is there for people and yeah, that would be massively beneficial. Yeah. Perfect, Vivian. Thank you very much for you taking your time, and that's all I have for you. So, have a lovely day. Thank you.